So this is how you can tell if your crankshaft sensor is bad. If your steering wheel's on upside down because whoever did the lift kit didn't set the steering wheel when they put the drop pitman arm on, your crankshaft sensor is bad. If it has this symbol on your steering wheel, crankshaft sensor is bad. If it says D-O-D-G-E, dooge, crankshaft sensor is bad. They always go bad on these trucks. This is a this is 98 and a half. I mean, you know, what, 20 years old, 20 some years old. <laughs> so I'll show you how to put it on. This, this It broke off in the block too. Like it's probably going to happen. What you can do, uh, spray some penetrating oil, some brake, uh, brake fluid, and just kind of maybe get some pliers, channel locks on it, and just kind of work, twist it around, and it might come out. But if your tachometer, this is a six speed. If your tachometer's jumping around, it's a sign it's bad. If sometimes it won't start, it'll throw an engine code. You can look up the engine code, I forget what it is. So you said it shall start. This used to be an automatic. That's why the trans temp thing's on. <clears throat> Before you could see like the tack would like maybe hold at 1. 1. 1.5, something like that, you know, it wouldn't really work. It's getting hard to start, so I'll show you how to put that on and how to get it off once it breaks off in a block is more or less it's probably going to. But it's not too bad to get out, it just kind of sucks. Okay, so that's where your crank sensor is, uh, right by your dipstick tube. Dipstick's not, it's in the way, but not too bad. You gotta, you gotta remove the starter. I tried without it. Yeah, the factory fuel pump would be there too. I have a fast pump on this. So it gives you more room, but I don't think it's an issue. Uh, on this one, I knew this was gonna happen. It, it broke off in there. Like, there's only one bolt in there. It's 10 millimeter for your starter, three 10 millimeters. Top bolt's kind of hard to get. Set the starter to the side. That's a 10 millimeter bolt that holds a, the sensor in. You kind of want to like try to twist it real easy. Maybe put some penetrating oil, some brake fluid on it, something to lube it up. I figured this would be okay because it leaks oil all over the freaking place. I was like, oh, it should be lubed up. Snapped right off. So if that happens, first thing I did was panic. That's, you know, standard. But I was able to get it actually pretty easy. Not easy, but I got it. <clears throat> I'll show you how if that happens. I got this this right angle attachment at Walmart. I have a regular one, but it was kind of big. This is like a low profile. It takes the quarter inch uh, hex shank. So I got some uh, quarter inch hex shank drill bits. And I drilled, drilled a hole. Hold on, excuse me here. So yeah, I drilled a hole in here. Put a, a metal screw and where's my metal tool? So you can, this is what I used. It's a, it's a nail puller. The way it's angled uh, fits in there perfect. And you can really pry it. And uh, honestly, it popped right out. Well, had to put a good bit of redneck power into it, but she popped out. So I got the standard one on Rock Auto. It was the most expensive. It was, I think, 50 bucks for that because I don't want ever have to change this again so hopefully it works and just to reinstall it <clears throat> pretty straightforward goes in a lot easier than it come out but I'm gonna put some grease on here just to make sure she's lubed up good so just reinstall her in there and bolt her back together